Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I'm going to share a card project that I shared over on the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel, but I wanted to share it with you because I love you. To see that simple card, stick around. It's coming up next. Here's a look at the two pieces that are going to make up the bulk of my design today. I've got this school supplies cling stamp and the just a note, little note die and shadow layer from my CZ design collection. One of the things I love to do is I love to take a big detailed image and not color it with markers. That's what we're going to do today. So let's get set up first and stamp out this image. I've taken my insert out of my MISTI. I'm gonna place this into the base of my MISTI. This is just how I like to use my cling stamps. I'm gonna put it all the way here to the edge because I only want a portion of this and that is pretty much the portion that I'm going to take. So this is how I like to do cling stamps. I will take some low tack tape. This is easy C tape and I will put some right onto my paper. Make sure I'm like that. Then I will just pick this up Make sure that's stuck, and then my paper is stuck to the door. So before I stamp, I'm going to take my Simon Says Stamp anti-static powder, just go all over this cardstock to remove static and oil. And then I'm going to take my Simon Says Stamp clear watermark and embossing ink, and we're gonna ink up our cling. that there because I'm probably going to do it a couple times. Bring this down and then I'm going to transfer the ink to the paper. Making sure I get nice even pressure. I guess I didn't need to ink all the way to the edge but that's okay. And we'll just get this transferred. I'm basically going to do an emboss resist. Oh that does look really good. And that is how we are going to add some beautiful color to this piece without coloring, because we're going to ink blend. This again, and transfer. And now I'm going to grab my paper catch for my embossing powder, and we'll add some powder to this stamped piece. And now I'll bring in my Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail White Powder and add the powder. Slide that off. And now you can see the image shows up with the white powder. And I will go ahead, put the rest of the powder back into the jar. And I'm going to grab my heat tool so we can heat set this. Now I'm just going to look for any parts that aren't shiny. All right, you just want to make sure that everything has been melted and here you can kind of catch, the, there you go, you can kind of catch the shine. Now I'm going to do some ink blending. So let me get my inks and we will do that next. I've placed my grip mat down. This is the eight and a half by eight and a half. I really love ink blending on this because it will hold your paper so nicely. And then what I'm gonna do is just take a rainbow of color and blend color onto the panel. I'm gonna speed this up just so that it doesn't take as long to get through the blend. So let's start out here with Cheeky. And this is a nice red color. And I decided to start in the lower right and just blend up as I go. We're just working in rainbow order, moving on to bubble gum. 
And I tend to go at an angle when I ink blend. It's just kind of a habit, but kind of like the way it looks. It has a nice energy. The orange is cantaloupe. And then you can come back with your brushes and go over the transitional areas to blend them together nicely. I'm bringing in lemonade here, and then we're moving on to celery. Blending on that celery, again, trying to get a nice transition. And then I brought in some sea foam. I was a little dark in the upper right, but it all dries back so beautifully, it does not matter. Plus I'm gonna be cropping this a little. And then I brought in just a little bit of lilac to complete the rainbow. And that is the blend. You can go over areas to smooth it out and you're good to go. Now that I've got my blend, I'm just going to take my little cloth here. This is a little lint-free cloth and just buff over any ink that might be sitting on top of the embossing. But that is how you add color really quickly to an image that maybe you just don't want to color the whole thing in with markers, right? But you can do that and then you have a beautiful panel ready to be trimmed down. So I'm gonna set this aside and work on my greeting. I've got some Simon Says Stamp Matte Gold and I'm going to cut just a note out of here. I'm going to cut a shadow layer out of the same Nina and then a couple more of these so that I can build up a little dimension on my greeting. So let me go ahead and cut all those pieces out. I am gluing a few layers of the white right onto the base and that way I get a little dimension for this greeting and then I'm going to top it with the matte gold layer. Sometimes with small dies like this, it can be easier to build up dimension right onto the base. And so I'll just glue these on top and then we'll have our greeting ready. Now I'm going to take a crop that I want for my card. One of the reasons I love to do a full panel is then you can take a die and move it all around and figure out which crop you want. And I wanted to get as much of the rainbow as possible, but also the full ruler over here. So I'm just going to say we get that pencil up top and then we crop the other sides. I'm going to take this into place and go ahead and cut out this panel for my card. I'm going to put this on a white note card. So this is 11 inches by four and a quarter. And we'll score it right at five and a half to create a top folding note card that is the USA2 size of four and a quarter by five and a half. Take my Teflon bone folder and give that a good press. Great. I put some of the Simon Says Stamp Big Mama foam tape on the back of this panel and I love this foam tape because it's not super lofty, it's a, it's a thinner loft. So it gives you a little lift without making your card too bulky. And we'll just pop this down onto the panel. All right, like that. I also put a few foam squares. These are the Simon Says Stamp thinner loft as well, just to give this a little separation. I'm going to bring in my T-square here just to help me get the base of this die cut lined up. And I'll put a little liquid glue on each foam square. That just gives me a little bit of float time as I position my greeting. And I want it to be right down here in this corner. I like that orientation. Drop that down. You can see it kind of moves a little. And then I can bring this in and straighten it real quick. Like that that. Oh, I love it. And that is the finished card project. So this is a really simple way to take a fun image that you want to stamp, but not color in with pencils or markers and just do the emboss resist ink blend and then pop on the greeting or die cut of your choice. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you. So hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks for watching and have a great day.
there are a few more projects that are on the simpler side when it comes to coloring. Check these thumbnails out and I'll see you in the videos.